hi guys welcome back to my channel and in this video we are going to look at the six easy steps to install microtech router in virtualbox step by step after the installation we will then enable the license as well so that we will get maximum bandwidth out from the router and we would also test the network connectivity using a virtual machine as well but before we go further if you like what you're watching i would highly recommend that you subscribe to my channel and also like this video also if you got any questions feel free to let me know in the comment section below so let's get started this is my blog article which i will link in the description as well let me go down to first step have the prerequisite ready there are some prerequisites before we proceed you have to have microtech router image so you can click here to download that in the microtech download page scroll down to the cloud hosted router at the time of this recording 7.14.2 is the latest stable version and in that i choose vmdk image click on that it will download the file in zip format once downloaded extract the image and now you have the vmdk file extracted out that's good next you have to download the virtual box you can click here to download that as well depending on the operating system you can download the software one thing to note though if you are using a mac with the m series chip it may not work if you got an intel mac machine then it should be okay I'm using a Windows machine, so I'm good. If you have Linux machine, you should be good as well. As I have already downloaded and installed, let me not save it. Next, you have to download the Winbox software. This is optional though, as you can manage the Microtech from the browser using HTTP, but I like to use the Winbox to manage the Microtech, so downloading that as well. In the Winbox, choose 64-bit version. That will download the software. I have already downloaded that. And here is the Microtech virtual lab that we are going to set up. The Microtech WAN interface connected to my physical LAN side of the network, which is my home network. Uh, that will act as a WAN network for the Microtech and I would create a separate isolated LAN network with the subnet 10.100.0.0 slash 24 for the Microtech LAN users, where I would connect all the VMs and everything so that VM network and the physical LAN network are totally separated. On to the second step, configure the Microtech virtual machine in VirtualBox. So let's go ahead and start the Microtech virtual machine installation. I already have two VMs in it. One is Ubuntu and another one is Windows 11. I would use Windows 11 to test the traffic later on. If you want to know how to install Windows 11 in VirtualBox hypervisor properly, you can check out the video on the top right corner. But for now, let's proceed to install the Microtech VM. Click on New. In the virtual machine creation wizard, enter the name of your choice for the virtual machine. Microtech CHR Router 1. By default, the VirtualBox will store the files in the default directory. If you would like to change that, you can click on the drop down and choose Other. I would like to store the virtual machine files in my SSD, which is a separate storage, and choose my SSD, uh, VirtualBox VMs folder. Once the location is chosen, click on Select Folder. In the VM type, leave Other, version Other Unknown 64 bit, and click on Next. You need to change the memory here. You can very well run the Microtech with just 128 megs of memory, but I'm adding 256, which should be good enough. With respect to CPU, though one CPU should be enough. I'm adding two CPU here and then click on next. If you don't have the resources to give two CPU, it should be okay. You can give just one. In the virtual hard disk window, choose use an existing virtual hard disk file because we already downloaded that and attach the VMDK file that we downloaded from the Microtech website. Click on add and attach the VMDK file and click on choose and click on next. Ensure everything looks good and then click on finish. Now towards the third step, which is configuring the WAN and the LAN interface. By default, when the VM is created, it created with a single interface, right? However, the Microtech requires you to have two interfaces. One will act as a WAN interface and the other one will act as a LAN interface. So the WAN interface was already added. We need to modify the WAN configuration as well. Also add a separate LAN interface to the VM. Right click on the VM and click on settings. Choose network. By default, you can see that WAN network selected as NAT, which will work fine. However, the Microtech virtual machine will use a host machine IP address as nat to go out. So when you inspect your traffic, you can see that traffic is coming from the host machine itself not from the Microtech router. Also, if you are planning to do any sort of inbound traffic to the Microtech router, that will not work unless you do port forwarding. So the best option here for the WAN interface is to use bridged interface. That will configure the Microtech router WAN interface as a bridged one 
and your physical LAN network DHCP server will hand out an IP address to the Microtech WAN interface from the 192.168.1 series IP. So from the physical LAN perspective, it is a separate network host. So in the adapter, choose a bridged adapter. You can see I choose the Ethernet network as a local network adapter as I have connected to the LAN network using the wired connectivity. If you have connected to the network using Wi-Fi, you would have to select Wi-Fi adapter instead here. So you have to keep that in mind. Make sure you select the right adapter. To add the LAN interface, click on adapter 2 to add the second adapter. Check enable network adapter, choose internal network and enter the name of the internal network which is Microtech LAN and click on OK. So this will create a totally isolated network just for Microtech LAN side. You may now power on the Microtech VM just double clicking on it. Within few seconds the Microtech router is loaded. Enter the username as admin. Password leave it blank and hit enter. In the license prompt choose no by pressing N. Enter the new password of your choice. Confirm the password. The password is now changed. We'll be using this new password going forward. And fourth step, configure the Microtech router. We have to now access a Microtech web GUI to manage the firewall. For that, we need to know the IP address of the Microtech router. In the same console, enter IP address slash print command to see the IP. You can see IP address 182.168.1.137 here, which I got it from my local DHCP server. Using this IP, you can now access the virtual machine. Let's open the Winbox. In the neighbor list, you can see my local area network Microtech router 192.168.1.1 and the virtual Microtech router that we just installed, which is 192.168.1.137. Select the virtual box Microtech router and uh, enter the username and password and then click on connect. This is a Microtech Winbox GUI. Let me adjust the window size. Let's now configure the network in Microtech. In the Winbox GUI, Click on the quick set. Here leave the WAN configuration to automatic because we are not going to touch any PPPoE. We are not going to change it to static because if you change it to static, then you have to configure the default route. So I'm not going to touch that. I'm just going to leave the uh, default DHCP service. It should be all right. In the local network, enter the IP address as 10.100.0.1. Leave the net mask as slash 24. Select bridge all LAN ports option and also check the NAT option. We will configure the DHCP server later. If you want to change the router name, you could do that router identity, which I am leaving the default and then click on OK. You can see that we have a bridge created and in the bridge, the Ethernet 2, which is the LAN interface selected as a bridge port. Now towards the virtual LAN side DHCP configuration. Click on IP and DHCP server. Click on DHCP setup. Choose bridge 1 as the DHCP server interface and click on next. Enter the DHCP address space as 10.100.0.0/24 and click on next. Gateway for the DHCP network 10.100.0.1 and click on next. Address to give out enter 10.100.0.20 to 10.100.0.50 that is enough for my network. If you require more VMs, you may increase the IPs. For me, that is enough and click on next. DNS server, I'm leaving the default and click on next. And least time is 30 minutes and click on next. DHCP setup has been completed successfully. Click on OK here. Currently, there is no list. If everything goes well, when we test the traffic, you will get an IP address from the DHCP service that we just configured. And under list, you will see the IP address as a list IP. And the fifth step, test the Microtech traffic from the virtual machine. To test the Microtech network, we need to bring one of the virtual machine into Microtech LAN segment. In my case, I have Ubuntu as well as Windows 11. So I'm going to use Windows 11 for this purpose. So right click on the Windows 11 machine and click on settings. Click on network. In the adapter, right now it's selected as bridge. I'm going to change it to internal network and choose Microtech LAN from the drop down and click on OK. Let me power on the Windows 11 VM. Log into the VM. I'm inside the virtual machine now. Let me maximize the screen a bit. Did you notice I already have the LAN interface shows connected with internet, which is awesome. Open the command prompt and type ipconfig slash all. You can see I got an IP address 10.100.0.50 from the DHCP service. The default gateway and the DNS looks good as well. You may try to ping the gateway, ping 10.100.0.1 and we are getting the response. Let me browse my website. As you can see, it is working fine as well. But what I've noticed is that it is a little slow. Okay, so we need to speed things up. So you may know that the Microtech will cap the bandwidth to 1 MB per second. 
without license so getting a license is very easy and that will fix this slowness issue whatever that we are facing right now let's check the internet speed you can see i am getting only 940 kb per second max which is okay for small virtual machine network tasks but when you add more and more virtual machine in the LAN side it will become a problem so to remove the bandwidth limit and to increase the bandwidth in and out from the virtual machine we need to apply trial license so to the sixth step increase the bandwidth by applying the license you can get a free trial license for up to two months which is very easy all you have to do is get a microtech portal username and password go to the website and register it that's it and once you have the username and password come back here all right i hope you have an account Make a note of the username and password which is required for this step. We are now going to connect this virtual machine into the account to get a license. For license, go to System, License, click on Renew License, enter the Microtech Portal username and password that we just created. In the level, choose P1 and click on Start. Connecting, Renewing, and Done. Close it. You can see the license is active until June 2024. That is good. You may now head back over to the Windows 11 virtual machine and run the speed test again. This time, as you can see, the bandwidth went beyond 100 meg and I got exactly 120 MB per second, which is awesome. And that's how you can set up Microtech router in the VirtualBox hypervisor. I hope you liked it. And if you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys on the next one.